Oi oi, it's Joe Hawk with the Mohawk, and I'm continuing my declutter. I actually thought I was going to be showing you the 50 palettes that I was keeping. I, in the process of going through those to make sure I only had 50, first problem was that I found out I had 68. The second problem is that I found an entire draw full of eyeshadow that I hadn't decluttered or gone through yet. So, here we go again. Um, before, oh, before I do that, let me show you something. So I was going through drawers just to make sure that there wasn't going to be anything else that I had missed. And I found this um, bronzer quad from Nomad. These two shadows are good on me. This one, it just comes up to orange. This, I wasn't really sure what that powder is supposed to do for me, but it does nothing. I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. Um, I did find my uh, Tarte bronzer, and I know this looks kind of atrocious in the pan. It's like, I mean, for you guys, but for me, it actually looks really nice on my face. Um, I've enjoyed using this. Um, it is uh, waterproof, and so this is one of my summertime bronzers, and it's in the shade... Seychelles, I believe so, but it's tart, it's great. Next is this blush. Um, I know, first of all, when you see this, you're gonna be like, I can't believe Joe Hawk had to keep that. I know, but look, so this highlighter I use as an eyeshadow. Um, I also use this one as an eyeshadow, but it also makes a great blush on me. The cream. Uh, today I'm using it as a bronzer for whatever reason as orange and warm as these are on me they look great and I wasn't going to keep it at first when I first saw it because I realized I had ordered the wrong color um, but even so this is a lot darker in person than it looked online um, I was going to get rid of it but then I thought well let me just try it and I was surprised I mean it actually looked nice this is probably the only time orange anything will look good on me um, this is supposed to be a highlighter but obviously it's too dark for that for me um, I like it and I'm going to keep that so that of course changes how many blushes I'm keeping um, we're going to call that a whole face palette and now I haven't over kept too many face palettes all right, Pat McGrath, this is the number five, the fifth one. It's gorgeous. The duochromes are lovely. This red is actually the main reason that I got it, and it turned out to not be the exact red that I wanted. I have another one that I'm giving away um, in the giveaway, and I was going to hold on to this one. See that glitter? Hmm. I have a feeling this is going into a giveaway. Yeah. It can go on its merry way. Okay. Aether Beauty. I believe they used to be called Ether. Um, and since then, they've changed the spelling of their company again. Um, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, is Aether Beauty. Please forgive me. This quad, I don't use it anymore, so it can go. And yeah, I know it's not the most beautiful quad, but it did its time. It served its purpose. Also have the Summer Solstice. It's also really pretty. And the Rose Quartz Crystal Granite. I had a hard time saying goodbye to this one. I'm telling you, this is beautiful. I just don't use it. So that's why it's going. Oops. ColourPop's Lush Life. I had really thought about keeping it just because it's got plenty of colors in here that I think are beautiful, but this also has about 50% that I'm never going to use. So we're going to go ahead and let that one go to a new home. The Nomad. Uh, this is, oh, this is the Morocco. Gosh, that's so pretty, isn't it? 
I mean, I even like the embossing that they press into the shadows. There's nothing wrong with their shadows quality-wise. I just don't use the palette. This is the Nomad America's Parks. So I thought about keeping this because, you know, we're going to be in the RV and traveling the country. And I thought, oh, I don't know. It just kind of had this sentimental thing. But reality is I'm not going to use it. And time, space, limitations mean I need to make hard decisions. So I'm going to let this one go also. But I can't wait to see a lot of these places. Some places I've already been, but a lot of these places are going to be new for me. So I can't wait. The Lago di Como from Nomad. Oh, this is so pretty. I like the little sailboats in it. Quality is nice, I will say that. I have two of these, so you probably have seen the other one that I had. This one is uh, the KVD uh, when after the rebrand. And... Um, this was in the new, like, completely recyclable packaging, no mirror, very lightweight, and a lot of people were complaining about it. Um, the pan, well, I'm not going to be able to get it out now. Um, people complained about it because they thought it felt cheap. Honey, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be recycled. It's not supposed to be a heavy weight that you just throw in the trash. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is one that I thought I was going to keep because I was getting rid of uh, that other one that wasn't open yet, but I am, I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. It's just, it is really pretty, but I also know that there are only a couple of shades in here that I would normally use, and it's kind of a waste to sit in my uh, cupboard for just that. The BH Opalescent, I got this, and it is a bit warmer than I was expecting. The number of colors in here that I like um, aren't enough to justify keeping it. It can go Nomads uh, Studio 54. There really isn't a whole lot of pigment to these, and I just I don't care for them very much. Um, they also got hard pan pretty fast so it can go the amuse these are from shop miss a this palette is great matter of fact i'm going to be showing you a lot of them that are great the reason i'm getting rid of it is this packaging is so cheap that me opening it cracked the lid it, it is beyond cheap these are good quality shadows absolutely anybody would enjoy having these the packaging is so bad. So it's gonna go. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Mini Xenon. It's not. These are from the Shop Miss A. If this was a, just a regular quad, I would keep it. These shadows are so buttery soft, highly pigmented and beautiful. Obviously, I'm not going to wear that because that's not in the color scheme. That just looks fun. Not really my jam. It actually reminds me of one of the Dior palettes that I got rid of. Normally, I, that wouldn't be a color scheme that I would gravitate towards, but it's actually pretty. These shadows are everything and more. Um... Again, I would keep this, but this packaging, it feels like it's going to shatter with the slightest hit. Um, these are more from Amuse. This green palette, it is really super, super pretty. Um, I think somebody is going to definitely enjoy that one. And this one, boy, these are so scratched up. I mean, I, they do get knocked around in the drawer. I mean, I admit that, but my gosh. Considering I don't even think I opened that one. Did I open that one? Yeah, I did. Y'all, let me just tell you. These shadows. They really are pretty. 
absolutely beautiful. And I'll tell you, uh, Busy Arts Dark Mats, you could put this up against Busy Arts, and, and that's hard for me to say, but it is the truth. Elf, these little bite-sized palettes, I haven't opened this one yet. I had a bunch of these. Um, everybody swore that they were like the best thing. They really were not great. Um, for $3, you know, you could have gotten three good palettes from Shop Miss A. All of their palettes are like a dollar, and they was definitely worth it. If you're going to have cheap packaging, you have to make up for it with great shadows. So I held on to this thinking I would like it. I haven't even tried it, and I'm not going to. The last one from um, Amuse, which is also a Shop Miss A brand. Very pretty colors. I just don't use it. Finally, Catrice, five in a box. This is supposed to be a dupe for one of the Natasha Denona's quints, but I don't know which one. Um, the shadows in here, buttery soft, blendable, absolutely beautiful. I just don't use them. To you guys, this one here might look kind of a like a dirty brown, that you know, like baby poop. But in real life, this is very rich. It's very, very nice quint. Somebody's going to really enjoy using that. All right, let's move on to this pile of insanity here. All right, all of these are different glitters, and they are from Midas. They're from Midas Cosmetics. All these different glitters, they're absolutely beautiful. There's really, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that I don't wear glitter anymore, so somebody else will have fun playing with those. I also have a glitter from uh, Sephora here, and, oh, I'm sorry. Where is my Sephora glitter? There it is. And a Sephora glitter that I'm also getting rid of. In here also... I really wanted to like the stuff from uh, 5050. That was a company out of the Netherlands. I bought a bunch of stuff when they were going out of business just because I thought, oh, it's, you know, my last chance to own something. And hey, we love the Dutch. Um, this topper, I think if I was somebody who used a base and was willing to put toppers on, then this is maybe something I would enjoy using, but for what it is now. Um, also in this bag, let's see, this is from ColourPop. Yeah, this is just a loose pigment. I don't use loose pigments. I'm not even sure how I came across that one, to be honest with you. Um, let's see, oh, there was more glitters. What else do I have in here? Glitter, that's a like a loose pigment also. Yeah, the rest of them are just different glitters, so we'll go ahead and let them go. Um, oh, here's another one from 5050. It is pretty. It's just, again, I need something with a little more oomph, and I just don't use... Uh, singles like that. These are Hindayan. These are like a brand you can buy on Amazon. I've got these duochrome toppers in 04 and 01. Um, one has more of like a bluish purple tint to them. Um, this one is a little bit more on the pink and goldish color. They are really pretty, um, but I just don't use them. And so I'm going to let them go. All right, next up, I have two creams from Stila. These are supposed to be the uh, metallics, and they should feel creamy. This one is in metallic navy, and this one is in metallic gunmetal. Gunmetal is still in good shape, but this navy, it smells. And I got them at the same time. This one's also a lot drier. This one, it is a little bit on the drier side from when I first got them. 
So because this one's already smelling, I'm assuming that this one is probably on its last leg. So I'm going to bin those. Those are not going to go to anybody, obviously. This palette, this CoverGirl palette is probably 15 years old. I bet you it's every bit of 15. It might even be older than that. Um, I just hold on to this thing for sentimental reasons. And I guess I don't really need to, but... I used to wear red eyeshadow on my upper lid and then black I would use as an eyeliner on the bottom. And I would put this all the way up to the brow bone. I mean, it was like as, like as vivid, dark, and dramatic as you can think it would end up being. Yeah, it was just like that. But I don't use this one anymore. I'm going to let this one go. I was going to hold on to it, but no. All right. Pat McGrath, this topper here, it's like a jelly, um, a duochrome jelly, and you would put it over top of one of your base shadows. I just don't use uh, toppers like that. So, and it just, it stays like a jelly. So you can kind of see. It's, you know, I'm, I think somebody else might like it. I just, I personally don't. All right, somehow or another, I ended up with a whole bunch of these ColourPop uh, Ultra Glitters. I don't know how I ended up with so many, but there are plenty in here um, that we are going to go ahead and part ways with. Um, I also have this Tinkerbell collection, and I got it for the packaging. I admit it. And you know what? I'm Anybody can be a sucker for good packaging. And I was. I don't even wear green, but I got green. Um, I have a bunch of different, oops, super shocks that are in uh, reds and or peaches and rose golds, things like that. And I am going to let all of them go. These two, I just don't use them, but I mean, I really like them. I think these were from a Black History Month or a Pride Month collection that they did. This would have been several years ago, maybe three or four. If somebody recognizes the packaging, feel free to let me know what, what collection these are from. But they are really, really pretty. Um, I just, I never use them anymore. Um, if I'm going to use single shadows, it's going to be the ones that are in um, one of my uh, Z palettes. So some more... Very sparkly, lots of sparkle. Ugh. And let's see. Oh, this is from JCAT. This Pris Metal, it, this is really good. I mean, really good. And I don't know how much it was, but it is still good after several years. And um, if I didn't have so much makeup, this is something I would keep because I would end up using it a lot, but I'm going to let it go. Um, more from 5050. It was okay. It's really nothing to write home about. And let's see. Oh, another glitter from ColourPop. Good grief. These are loose glitter from BH Cosmetics and ones in Brilliant and Precious. I don't wear glitter. Made that easy, right? I have a whole handful of Shop Miss A. Um, these are supposed to be like a gel liner, but they dried out completely. Um, the ones that have been open, like... Could you hear that? So, because those are dried out, I haven't even... Some of these that haven't even been opened yet, I'm going to assume that they are either already dry or on their way dry, but I'm, I thought I would be one of those people that drew the really cool avant-garde uh, lines for dramatic liner um, editorial looks. I thought I would end up being some one of those people, and I am not one of those people. So, oh, I have a MAC unopened. It's in espresso, I think. Yeah, espresso matte. 
Um, I think I got this as some kind of a, like a sample, you know, free sample at Sephora or Ulta. I'm not, really not sure, but it's a nice color for somebody else. I just, it's not a color I would wear. All right. Also in the category of things, all right. Um, I have these three cream shadows. One is uh, Charlotte Tilbury. The other two are, I believe, Urban Decay. Yep, Urban Decay. Please don't ask me what shade they are. I have no idea. I actually use these. So I'm thinking about keeping these two. Wait a minute. How close are these? Because this one I know I don't use. It's too warm. All right, can we see? Yeah, I think that those are different enough. I'm gonna keep both of these, but I am gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. I absolutely will not use it. All right, doing good in a way, but I'm not really counting those. This, I really thought I would use this a whole lot more, but I don't. I think, you know what, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. If I don't end up using that here in the next week or two, I'll definitely get rid of it. I got these glitter toppers. I don't know why I got glitter toppers, but, you know, I did. They are from Touch and Soul. I heard that they would be, you know, wonderful, lovely, I don't use them, and I'm not going to. That's what I'm getting rid of. Oh, Pat McGrath. What shade is this? Ultraviolet Blue Pressed Pigment. From Mama Pat. Look at that. You know, I really don't use this very often, but I do because, I mean, I do use it because I keep it right in my bathroom so it's easy to find. Let me find a spot to put this. Yeah, I like that. I do actually, all right, so now I found one. I have one single that I like, but actually, you know what? I'll probably end up taking this out and putting it in one of my Z palettes because this one pops out, I believe. Yeah, it does. All right, I'm going to do that. That way I can keep it. Uh, the next are all my color bases. Oh, this is so old. It's from Shop Miss A. It is probably five to ten years old in that range. And I guess we could say it's pretty dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to let that get binned. Oh, it has a light, a delightful, whoops, sorry, a delightful scent on that too. Uh, these are all eye bases, NYX, and uh, the NYX Jumbo Pencils. And then this is that same Hindayan or Hindayan um, from Amazon. These are supposed to be dupes for the P. Louise. And they probably are. It's just that after I got them, and even with the jumbo sticks, I find that I don't use them. The only ones I actually use are from the jumbo sticks are the white and the black. Um, but I don't even need the black because uh, I have so many black eyeliners. It is a good white liner, though. Mm, no. No, I don't, I don't need to keep all this stuff. I don't use it. I can't even tell you the last time I used any of this stuff. So it's all going to go. See, I'm being responsible. Good for me. Yay. All right. How else are we doing here? I have a single. Uh, this was a sample from Natasha Denona. And I think it is one of the shadows from her gold palette. 
or bron bronze. I believe it's from a bronze palette, but I'm not sure. Um, it is just a single. I'm not going to use it, so it's going to go. BH Cosmetics Sub-Zero. Look, normally this would be my jam, and I'd be like all over this. This is the one I got to keep, and it says cold as ice. I mean, that is so me, but you know what? I have another palette from him, from, from him, from BH Cosmetics that I think it looks a little bit better even, and I can't keep so many of them. I was, the other time you saw this palette, it was in a new, it's still in its packaging. This is one I was going to keep because um, it has that shattered gold in it, and I was going to keep it just because I really think it's so cute, but I don't use it. Um, but it really was cute, and I did want this one for a long time. I had to think hard about getting rid of this one, just because I don't use it, but I wanted to use it, but, you know, I don't know. So, look, this is from Glam Shop. This is Fairy Perry from Poland, and I was going to keep this one, because it's like, you know, everything in a bag of chips, except this glitter, this chunky glitter, and then this microfine glitter. It's, I have another blue, uh, purple palette here that I am keeping. Actually, I have a bunch of them, but then one of them I'm going to be showing you here shortly. You'll understand why this one can go because the other one that I'm keeping does have sentimental value. Um, let's see. Oh, I have one. Oh, here we go. All right, so after I split from my husband, my kids and I had to go to the domestic violence shelter again, um, and that was our second trip, and it was going to be our last because I was done, so moved out. I got a job at a factory, never done factory work before, but I needed the money, and it paid pretty good, and... Uh, I had a little old farmhouse. The thing was probably, I don't know, 100, 120 years old. And it was all crooked, the whole nine yards. But anyway, kind of beside the point. Um, I wanted to start wearing makeup again because I wasn't allowed to wear makeup when I was married. I really wanted to start wearing makeup again. Um, but when I had, my ex-husband would tell me I looked cheap or I looked like a slut or I looked ugly or you can't put lipstick on a pig um you just all the negative crap that you could possibly hear from a, another human being that's what I heard but I heard it every single day so I hadn't worn makeup obviously in a long time because of that I mean I wasn't even allowed to cut my hair well after we've been living in the house for in the new house our farmhouse for a while um I decided I was going to start wearing makeup, but I didn't know where to start, and I felt overwhelmed. Everything felt overwhelming. I cried all the time. My anxiety was just through the roof, um, and yes, I did go to therapy. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> um, but I went online to learn how to apply makeup because I figured if I wear it, I just don't want to, you know, look as ugly, you know, and lipstick on a pig and whatever. So I found a guy. Um, makeup artist. Uh, his name is Nady with Pop Lux. And I'm sure he doesn't realize that I even exist. But for me, he was an actual hero. There was this guy putting on makeup and he had so much confidence about it. And he was just like happy and enjoying himself. And I was like, man, if he can do that, I think I could do that too. And so that's actually how I came to getting into Shop Miss A makeup is because he was doing a review on Shop Miss A makeup and he had a purple palette and he called himself a purple hoe and I'm not slut shaming by the way he that's what he calls himself and I was like I love purple too and so I decided for a dollar I could afford makeup like that um, because again, you know, I didn't really have any money. And I mean, when I left, I think I had a, like a 300 credit score when I left my ex-husband. So this is something I hold on to strictly because I absolutely, 
it brings back good memories. And I did use it, so I am going to hold on to that one. So now you know why I'm getting rid of that other purple one. I was going to keep Avocado Toast from uh, BH Cosmetics, but there are too many colors in here that I don't use to make it worthwhile to keep all the ones that I do, the shades that I do like. Nothing wrong quality-wise. Absolutely nothing. Um, the Sweet Shop BH's Pistachio Palette. You can see why I'm not keeping that. Um, these shadows are all good. All of them. If you like green, this is it. You, you will never own a palette as sweet as this <laughs> Sweet Shop. Yeah. You'll never own one as sweet. If you like green, I was going to keep this one um, from Witchcraft. It's called I Put a Spell on You. I really dig this. Um, and the quality is great. This Binks, this black here, it is as black as the night. No moonlight involved. I mean, just absence of light. Um, this, this Max, it ended up being more pink than I was hoping. I was hoping it would be more red, but I mean, either way. Um, but I do like the palette and I even used the green a couple of times. So, you know, yay, go me. But I think Gemini will like this more. You know, she's goth and she, she would be into something like this. So I'm going to let her have it. All right. And hey, I'm going to stop it here and then I'm going to do the palettes that I am keeping. So have a good one. I'll see you soon. Bye.